All right, I got myself here a Da Vinci XYZ one, except it's the three in one model. And I keep getting this thing on the calibrate where it says cannot calibrate. It like fails. It says go to FAQ. Um, I just got myself perfect level just now. I fixed that problem. And there's like only one tutorial on YouTube telling you how to fix this, and it's in another language. So that was extremely helpful. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. So first thing you want to do is go into utilities here. You're gonna want to press OK, and then go all the way down to clean nozzle. Now you're gonna do that. You're gonna click it, push this down for you. Yes. So you're gonna wait. It's gonna heat up and everything, and then I'll show you more. All right. So while this thing is moving and it's getting ready to put in the clean nozzle mode, I do want to say that when you go to calibrate it, left means left. Right means right, forwards means this way towards you, towards the front of the machine, and backwards means towards the back of the machine. So when it says turn the right knob backwards 5.6 times, I know that's super confusing. That means going to the back of the machine, and then one turn equals 90 degrees. So you're going to go one, two, three, and etc. So now that's bringing this nozzle forward, what you're going to do is go in there with a wire brush, copper, and you're just going to clean out the nozzle and you're clean out all these connecting points. You don't want anything over these connecting points like any tape. You can see I like actually took off tape around there because like that will mess it up. Next thing I did for like extra caution was I took a little bit of sandpaper and I just kind of sanded the connection points and then cleaned it off with a rag. Same thing with that little pin on the um, extruder there. That little pin there actually touches those connecting right there and then over here. So you want to make sure they get a good connection. So after you've cleaned everything and gotten rid of anything that might be having it fail, definitely clean that nozzle too. And then here's the real trick. So these little knobs here, you have one here, you have one in the back, the left back there, and you have one in the right over there. What you're going to do is that they are on springs here. What you're going to do is you're going to loosen them completely until the springs are no longer compressed and it's loose and there's a ton of play in the screw. You're gonna do that to each one of them. You're gonna get it completely loosened all the way and that's gonna make it perfectly level at a loose height. Then you're gonna go, once they're all loose, you're gonna go tighten them equally all the way around and let it like come down. When the spring compresses, it actually, when you tighten it, it compresses the spring, brings the bed down. You wanna bring it down somewhere in the middle. So don't go all the way tight because you want to have enough play for when you go to calibrate it to actually be able to like level the bed to where it wants to go. So like just do it like a little bit like I did where I just go, I did maybe like 20 turns, I think 20 on each one of these. And then yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And then after that, once you cleaned everything, you uh, loosen these all the way and then tighten them up equally. You're gonna press okay. And then you're gonna go to home axis and you're gonna set it back to its home positioning. Yeah, oh, yes, there we go. And that's gonna go back into its home position. Cool, so after that, you are gonna calibrate it like you normally would. I'm not gonna do any of that again. I'm also not gonna like mess with that again because it took an hour for me to figure this out. So just trust me on what I'm gonna say. But once you calibrate it, it should work perfectly. So let's pretend that this is after you calibrated it and it said it's level or unlevel or whatnot. And then if it says it's unlevel, make the adjustments it tells you to. Remember, going to the right and then for the back ones, backwards is towards the back machine, forwards is towards the front of the machine. Calibrate it. Once you get perfect level, you're going to go over into Z offset here. Press OK. It's going to prepare it and I'll show you what to do there. Okay, this should be the position for the Z offset. You're gonna come in here and be careful because it's kind of hot. I'm gonna take this and push it over to the middle. And as you can see, you don't want it scratching the tape or anything like that. So you're gonna take a business card and it should be able to fit a business card right in underneath there. This one has, it's a little bit tight. And if it's tight, you can just adjust it like that. You want it to be a little bit tight, but you don't want it to be too tight where it's scratching your um, tape or the bed at all. All right, after you've done that, just send it back to the home axis and you should be good for printing. Also, I found a way how to use third-party filament without it like reading a bunch of errors. Um, I don't know if that's still a problem, but if it is, I'll make a video on that too.